East Denver just wrapped up. This is a massive annual Ethereum conference virtual this year. Heard from a lot of amazing projects, got a sense of what's new and in development in the Ethereum space. A big focus is scalability, addressing the massive uh, ETH gas fees, etc. Got introduced to this project called Harmony, scaling Ethereum applications, yada yada. So a lot of projects are trying to solve scalability. This is a layer one that kind of functions like a layer two because they've got a bridge to the Ethereum ecosystem uh, with a transaction finality of two seconds as opposed to six minutes. Uh, transaction fees average of fraction of a penny compared to average of 30 cents. Um, so I don't know enough to like know about sharding and evaluate things, but what I care about is the bridge. They are talking about having this thing they call the Horizon Bridge. Ethereum to Harmony cross-chain bridge designed to bolster vibrant cross-chain, yada, yada, yada. Interact with assets from both blockchains, opens up the gates for assets to flow freely between Harmony and Ethereum blockchains and will enable users to bridge any ERC-20 token. Okay, stellar, because we have an ERC-20 token, ARCD, we issued a while ago, and um, you know it's nice to see the liquidity tapping, uh, you know, going up on our pool a bit. But we've still been waiting for what's going to allow us to actually meaningfully use that token in our products. And if we're able to bridge that token to a chain that's designed to integrate well with Ethereum, and in fact, you can read in the docs they've got all the same tooling. Uh, of Ethereum, you can use MetaMask, you can use Truffle for application development. There, it uses the Ethereum virtual machine, so you can write smart contracts uh, in Solidity. Um, so yeah, the biggest question, however, is does it work? So I just tested this and it does, and I wanna demonstrate it. Uh, so bridge.harmony.1, um, and then if you open this up in a new browser for purposes of seeing the little notice that it sends you, let's see. All right, so when you go to bridge.harmony.1, all right, due to the high Ethereum gas price, we had to update the bridge that will now require users to pay for the Ethereum network fee. Horizon Bridge still has the lowest cost for Ethereum to Harmony transfers. However, Harmony to Ethereum transfers will be expensive. Ethereum gas cost is common to every other bridge. We've been working on the trustless and gas efficient version of the bridge. So they've, <clears throat> they've got like three versions of this bridge plan. This is version one. So like basically <clears throat> there's gonna be some high-ish prices for the bridge itself um, just cause you're transacting with Ethereum and they're, they've got ways of bringing that down and then explaining how it works. So um, I don't know so much about BUSD link but it says any ERC-20. Uh, also, any ERC-721, that's the non-fungible token. ERC-20 is the fungible token. That's what our ARCD arcade token is. So you can send any ERC-20 to Harmony and then send it back to Ethereum. And this just explains a bit more how it works, user guide. So let's test it out. Um, I'm going to go back over to my main window. I think I can... Does this disconnect it? Yeah, so... Ethereum, MetaMask, I've already like approved this. But yeah, so it shows um, how much ARCD is in my MetaMask wallet. And uh, I guess you can also do MetaMask on Harmony. I, I installed the Chrome extension for the one wallet. So accept. And you can see the 1000 Harmony ARCD in there. Uh, but let's just demonstrate it. So at the top, Going from the ETH chain to the Harmony chain, the token is called one. I guess that's the abbreviation for the Harmony chain. Uh, so ERC token address, uh, if you don't know what that is, like if you wanna test it yourself, you can get that from the bottom of the Uniswap pool. That's linked, I think, on our Twitter somewhere. Or just search ARCD ETH. Well, make sure it's this. I'll put the link in the description to that. Uh, but the ARCD address is right here, OXB58. And so, yeah, I can just paste it in there. And then 
for the one address. This is connected to the one wallet. And so I'll do use my address. And let's just do a test of. Well, we did a thousand. Let's try a hundred thousand. Because what's cool is that I can do the bridge here and then we can like load a hot wallet in our Harmony application so that people won't even need to do this bridging process. This will just be if people have a stack of ARCD that they want to get moving. Um, but the idea is we want to let people like earn arcade tokens without having to do a bunch of this stuff, uh, like wallet setup, because uh, there's a the magic wallet we had mentioned previously uh, also has a Harmony support. So more, more on that in a bit. But let's get this working. So let's do continue. Um, yeah, it estimates about $19 for this bridge. Uh, MetaMask, blah, 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 blah. Let's try it. Okay, so allow bridge.harmony to spend your Arc D. Now, I thought I already did that. Oh, I might have only, maybe because it's a larger amount. It wasn't approved to send this much. I don't know. Okay, so I got the confirmed transaction. Do, do, do. Yeah, I guess this version one thing, you're not going to want to do this probably for like smaller amounts. Um, like, it would probably be cheaper just to get the Harmony version of the token than convert. I don't know. We got to kind of puzzle out the economics of this. So when I did this a few minutes ago, it cost about $7 to approve the bridge to lock tokens and then about $11, so total of about $19 to go across the bridge. Uh, it took about five minutes total. The longest um, thing to wait for is the 13 block confirmations. And then it'll give you, yeah, currently at 980, waiting for block. 93. Okay, so while that goes, uh, this magic website we've shared about previously, and we've integrated a previous uh, like web dashboard with magic where you can log in with an email address. You have an Ethereum public private key pair associated with that. Well, they support other blockchains also. And so I was really happy to see that Harmony was one of the supported chains here because, you know, it, it it's fine for, you know, people that are savvy to blockchain to go and install like the Chrome extension. The um, Harmony One wallet is very similar to um, MetaMask. So that's fine. But the ideal is we get to the point where we can just send people the link to arcade.city. They create their account and do everything without leaving the Arcade City website. Uh, aside from, you know, checking their email for verifying the uh, email verification auth request from Magic. Uh, but it's just really cool to see that this is supported because this is going to allow people to have a Harmony account and to hold the HRC20, which is the Harmony equivalent of the ERC20, in their um, account. This is just associated with their email address. And then we also had have a special link that we got from the Magic team for people to be able to export their private keys, um, if they want. If you want to kind of like pull your tokens from the Magic associated account into a separate wallet or export them manually or whatever. All right, so we've got about nine block confirmations left. Okay, we skipped ahead a bit. Success. It's interesting that that says 90 and that says 93, but okay. Looks like that finished successfully. Let's look at the transaction on the Harmony Explorer. Um, okay. 
network fee is 0 0.0061. And um, let's just see how much 0 0.0061 is. Harmony, oh, nice. So 0 0.02, where's my calculator? All right, so fraction of a fraction of a penny for the one piece. Basically, everything on Harmony is going to be super dirt, dirt cheap, and then just the Ethereum piece for now um, is more expensive. But now that we've got, see, 101,000 Harmony Arc D here. Um, and if you first connect your um, Harmony wallet here to load the Arc D, you'll have to get... Uh, you click this button, and then this address here is the token address. And then you'll like do add custom address, and you'll see it there. Okay, we'll do like better tutorials on this down the road. But um, just wanted to share our excitement that, uh, wow, we have a way to bridge ArcD into a different version of ArcD that can be sent extremely cheaply and easily.